Now in the previous video we created a database by using the uh, Management Studio and what I want to show you now is how to create a database instead of using graphical tools by using Transact SQL and I want to show you a couple of things first of all. First off let's go out to SQL Books Online so I'll go to Documentation and I'll go to SQL Server Books Online and I want to go out and on the index you need to be aware of this if I do a search on Create Database notice you see right here Create Database Statement I will click on that and notice I got a couple of choices down here. I want to I want to choose the create database transact SQL. Now the thing I want you to know is the syntax for creating a database starts right here and kind of goes for a while. What I want you to see is is the amount of control that you have on creating a database. So you've got quite a bit of options that you can use in the syntax here. And then notice in the books online that they have all the arguments listed and then a brief explanation of what each argument means. I would strongly suggest you print this out and go read through it and make sure that you are at least exposed to the various options and opportunities that you have. Now there's a remarks section that gives you some some very valuable information. This is well worth printing and reading and then of course we have some sample code for creating databases. It's worth your while to grab a hold of this and read through it and see what's going on. Notice to change a database, alter, to drop a database, drop. You have links down here. A lot of information out here in Books Online. But what I want to show you, uh, apart from that, is how simple it can be to create a database. I'm going to click New Query. And then what I want to do is show you the simplest possible way to create a database. I can simply type Create Database, and I'll call this one Bob. And this actually turns out to be a trick question on the uh, certification exam is will this work correctly? And so I execute this and you'll notice clicks and hums and the command completed successfully. And so if I come over here and right click and refresh my window view, you'll notice that I now have a database of Bob. Now where did it put it? How big was it? And so forth. It took the defaults. It took everything that was based on that model database and created the database for me. So again, if you will separate DBAs into two classes, uh, there's two strong classes, those who like to use the graphical tools to create a database and those who like to use Transact SQL. Uh, it's rare to create a database this way, although you could create it this way. Come over here and right click, go to properties, and then start to adjust it adjust the various options and so forth as you see fit. Okay, So that's a way to create a database via Transact SQL. And again, don't forget you've got all those possibilities with that syntax. So go out to SQL Books Online and familiarize yourself with all the possibilities you have with that Create Database Statement.